Now, as I look, there are a lot of uh, different styles that Emily assumed at one point or another. Could you run through a little of that uh, stylistic change? Yes, uh, to our um, amazement. I mean, her first style was brilliant. Her second style was even more brilliant. And by the time she changed again, we were all just standing there going, what the hell is going on here? I mean, we just, she changed as fast as people could copy it. She started off painting minute little dots and lines in a distinct pattern representing yams, root patterns, feathers from emus, animal tracks, breast paintings where you could see the outline of the breast, including the nipples. And then all of a sudden she was free as the demand for her work increased to basically produce whatever she liked. Even paintings that are purely simple lines uh, running from... Every time we thought that Emily had established herself as uh, totally recognizable, in other words, that's a Vincent's, that's a, you know, uh, she would change her style dramatically. She would go from small dots to large dots, from large dots to single lines, from single lines to patterned lines, from white lines on black backgrounds to black lines. And every time we thought we'd had her worked out as to what her oeuvre was, she would change. She was just amazing. And she did that for seven years and then died. And the last 24 paintings were produced in three days on August 15, 16, and 17 of 1996. And the only reason she started producing this particular style was because there were no brushes lying around. There was canvas, there was paints, and there was one large three-inch brush that we had used to reprime the canvases from white to black, which is what she preferred. Because don't forget these were body paintings as far as she was concerned, and she was black. So she liked painting on a black background. Uh, it's as simple as that. They were also seen as aerial views. She would paint them on the ground. She would sit on the canvas and work her way around it. So the last series are the most amazing paintings ever because they are almost Will Nakunings in, in feeling and Rothko's. To me, they're better because this lady was never influenced by anybody on earth. She had never been to a museum, and yet she produced 3,000 paintings over a period of seven years that are now being fought for and, 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 and you know, uh, wanted by every major contemporary art museum in the world.